Hello, and welcome to this Getting Started with STM32 Motor Control Software Development Kit. The STM32 Motor Control Nucleo Pack offer is based on two solutions. P Nucleo IHM001, composed of a Nucleo F302R8 board, including the ARM Cortex M4, an X Nucleo IHM 07 M1 power driver, and a motor. The second pack is a P Nucleo IHM 002, which is extended by a power supply. There are other solutions based on STM32 to drive powerful engines. For example, the combined STM32 303E eval and ST eval IHM 023 V boards. Expansion package for STM32 Cube and the ST Motor Control Workbench is a tool which can help you with your development. Now let's see how to develop with the ST Motor Control SDK. ST Motor Profiler is able to electrically and mechanically characterize the engine, and of course to save the configurations that you create in so doing. ST Motor Control Workbench provides you with a GUI which sets all motor parameters and generates your favorite IDE project, as well as the STM32 Cube MX project through the STM32 Cube MX software tool usage. STM32 Cube MX can generate code for several IDEs like System Workbench, IAR, or Keel MDK ARM. Now let's do a demo. Plug the X Nucleo IHM 07M1 into the Nucleo F302 R8 and connect the three motor wires and, of course, the power supply. Install ST Motor Control Workbench SDK 5.0, the last STM32 Cube MX versions, the STM32 Cube F3 HAL libraries, and the IAR IDE. Connect the Nucleo board and launch the tool. Click Motor Profiler and enter the main engine characteristics available on the flyer. Validate and select boards Basic F3 Nucleo and X Nucleo IHM 07M1 3SH. Connect your target. Start Profile. The profiler is able to recover serial impedance, max current, max speed, friction, inertia, and a few other mechanical settings. At the end, save the motor profile. You can play manually with the motor. Now let's go back to ST Motor Control Workbench. Click on New Project and select the hardware setup matching your project. Don't forget that you have saved your motor profile configuration earlier. Click on the motor symbol. Select the Sensors tab or symbol for its configuration. So let's look at the power stage. Various settings are available, such as AC input, inrush current, power factor correction, bus voltage, dissipative brake, bus sensing, power switches, UV or W driver, temperature sensing, current protection, or also current sensing. Now, how to tune the drive management. It is possible to access and modify all level options, from speed and position feedback to user interface add-on. The last thing to check out is the control stage, where there are entries for MCU and clock, analog input and protection, DAC functionality, and to finish, digital I.O. Now, please ensure you save your project. As previously said, this software tool generates the STM32 CubeMX project. Here is how to proceed. Select your IDE in the Tools Project Settings menu. Click the Generation menu and wait. This software tool also generates the project for your IDE. You may open STM32 CubeMX to check or to modify your CPU usage, check or change your project settings if needed, confirm PC13, PB2, and PB13 names and settings, and visualize the clock tree settings. 
In the Configuration tab, EXT1 line is enabled and the IRQ generation is activated. After STM32 CubeMX modification, it is possible to regenerate the application source code. To apply the modification, you can add a piece of code in the main.c file, line 131, in while loop, add function to manage LEDs versus motor state. Line 488, add the function to manage the motor depending on the button state. Download the application in the target. The source is automatically built. And play with the target.